Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1021. Hey, this video, we want to talk about a book giveaway for Control Shift Enter Mastering Excel Array Formulas. This is July 17th. Now, the book isn't quite out yet, about a week, but we're having a book giveaway. You go to this link right here. It's listed right below this video, so look below the video in the show in the description and click on the link. When you go to this site, you got to do two things. You do got to enter to win. There's 10 copies, autographed copies of this book. But the most important thing for all of us at YouTube is to click this. You want to help promote the book, want to read, you got to click it. T enter 10 free autographed copies. Now, I got to show you a great trick. The whole reason I wrote Control Shift Enter is because I never saw a single place that listed all the aspects and facts of array formulas. That bo the book is very good in, in detailing those. Now in this video, I want to show you two tricks that have to do with array formulas or two facts. The first one is, and I have two examples here, two formulas. The first one has to do where, with function arguments. Now this is an array calculation right here. We don't have a max if function. So we put the, the if inside of the max and we run our criteria. Notice that's a range of values and there's an operator saying is uh, anything in this range equal to product one. Anytime you have an operation on an array or range of values, more than one value, you're making an array format. Now, this is an array operation. And because it sits in the logical test argument of the if function, in order to get the formula to calculate correctly, you have to use a special keystroke, Control, Shift, and Enter. Now, some functions have function arguments that can handle array operations without using Control, Shift, Enter. And the book does a great job of listing those functions like some product and others. Ah, but check this out. What happens if you have a function argument, an array operation, and you don't use Control Shift Enter? Let's see. I get a value error. Let's look at a different formula over here. This is, I'm just subtracting this column and this column, and I want to find the max profit. I don't care from this transactional data set which one it is. I just want to know the max. This number one argument in max has an array calculation. That's a math operator. These are ranges. They contain more than one value, so it's an array operation. Doesn't calculate correctly unless you use Control, Shift, and Enter. But what happens if you just hit Enter? Value error. Now, most things that I've ever read about array formulas say if you don't use Control, Shift, Enter, you get a value error. Well, that's not the full story. Let's move these formulas. And actually, the type of answer you get when you don't use Control Shift Enter on a formula that requires Control Shift Enter depends on where the formula is in the spreadsheet. So watch this. 5, 0, 5, 0, back to value. What about this one? 0 0.55, 0 0.9, 0 0.12. What is going There's the right answer right here. That's the wrong answer, and this is a value error. So those are the three things that can happen. You can accidentally get the right answer, get the wrong answer, or get a value error. The biggest problem with not using Control Shift Enter. If I click in the cell, you can see there's no curly brackets up here. But sometimes people will be like, oh, that must be the right answer. I'm not getting a value error. Well, here's the story. When you have your formula right here, not next to the data set, it is not next to one of the arrays that are being used in the array operation. This one's above, this one's below. If it's not next to it, it will give you a value error. Let's check this out. When I move this down one row, why is it giving me a 5? That's the correct answer. Let's run Formula Evaluator, Alt-MV. I'm looking up here in the evaluation. It looks like it's making an array operation. I click Evaluate. But what did it do? It showed me just product 1. That product one, remember, this is sitting in the cell directly next to this row. It's coming from something called implicit intersection. It, array formulas, if you don't use Control Shift Enter, and the formulas next to the data set will only look at the actual value in the array that is on the same row as the formula. 
So check this out. It'll say product 1 equal to product 1. Just because it was on this row, that'll give us a true. And guess what? The formula will dump the entire range in. And that's why max evaluates to 5. Down here, Alt-MV. I'm going to click Evaluate. It sees product 2 from implicit intersection. So I click Evaluate. Product 2 does not equal product 1. Notice it gives me a false. But our formula did not have a value entered into the value if false. So if you get a false in the logical test and you don't have anything in the value of false, it'll put in a false. Max interprets any non uh, number entry as it reports as 0. So when it sees a non-number entry, it'll report 0. And so that's why we get a 0. And then it's repeated down here. We get a, a 5 only because product 1 is on this row. Now, something slightly different happens with implicit intersection when we're not using the if. So there, we're getting a value error because it's not next to the data set. And by the way, you get a when you put it next to the data set, you'll get implicit intersection. It doesn't work above, just next to it. All it's doing here, and we can run Alt-MV, it looks like C10 to C13 will be evaluated. But guess what? It's only going to take implicit intersection and take C10. So when I click Evaluate, it only got C10. Here, it'll only get D10. That's implicit intersection. And it gives us the wrong answer. Notice that here, that's 2 minus 1.1. Uh, 3 minus 1.8, and by accident, we get the correct answer. And when we move it down here, not next to the data set, a value error. So important to know that array formulas not entered properly can give you a value error. The correct answer by accident or the incorrect answer. Um, so go enter that contest. Absolutely. Where is that contest? There it is. And rate this book. Rate it five stars, even though it's probably not that good of a book. Um, all right, we'll see you next video.